My name is Vincent Thompson. I'm the uh, chairman and a supervisor in the Hardin County Conservation District Board. We are having our annual art and writing contest banquet. We have uh, students uh, throughout the county that participate in that. Um, we were not able to have it last year, so we're excited to have a, a big crowd this year and celebrate again. Um, like I said, it's an annual event and we, uh, we try to recognize the students that participate and they get, a, uh, get an award and some recognition. Well, I want to welcome y'all to our uh, art and writing contest banquet with the Hardin County Conservation District. We weren't able to do it last year and uh, we sure are happy to see y'all this year. Uh, I don't know if we got a record crowd, but we've got a big crowd, so again, thank you. My name is Vincent Thompson. I'm the chairman, uh, one of the elected supervisors on the board. Uh, throughout the night, you'll meet some other supervisors. So uh, thank you to all the children that have participated in the contest, and uh, hope you enjoy the banquet. Um, we have 18 schools, 49 students represented tonight. I'm going to turn it over to Marsha Butterworth this time, let her take care of the awards, and I'll hand them out. <clears throat> This year we have two a year of service awards. The first one goes to Susan Coombs. Susan was an advisor for 12 years from 2009 to 2021. Unfortunately, Susan passed away in September of 2021 and her husband, Joe Coombs, is with us tonight and will accept the award in her honor. Joe. Our next uh, years of service award goes to Butch Filbert. Butch was an advisor for three years from 2009 to 2012, and then Butch became a supervisor in 2009 and ended his term in 2021. Butch was a wonderful asset to our board. Butch and his wife Nan always arrived early at the banquet and were a huge help. In fact, one of my sisters asked me where the older gentleman was tonight, because he always comes and helps us. Um, so Bush, if you want to come forward, please. All right, well, we'll jump into the uh, Art Awards presentation. At this time, I'm going to introduce Alan Morris, our secretary. He's going to begin the uh, handing out of the awards. So I'll be handing out the uh, art awards presentations. Um, could someone from the Southern States come up to hand out the awards? Ben? There you go. So our first, first school is Morningside Elementary. Second runner-up is Holland McCurley. Holland is a first grade student in Miss Willis' class. First runner-up is Hannah Henshaw. Hannah is a fourth grade student in Miss Willett's class. And our winner is Carter Willett. Carter is the fourth grade class of Miss Willett. <laughs> From Creekside Elementary. Second runner up is Lena Phillips. She is a third grade student in Miss Brawers and Miss Anderson's class. First runner up is Addison Phillips. Addison is a fifth grade student in Ms. Hallett's and Ms. Brawler's class. And our winner is Whitley Atcher. Whitley is a fourth grade student in Mrs. Wyatt's and Ms. Brawler's class. <laughs> our next school is Greenhouse Heritage Academy. First runner up is Jacob Massengill. Jacob's a kindergarten student in Ms. Massengill's class. And the school winner is Emma Massengill. Emma is a second grade student in Ms. Massengill's class. So, Hemwood Heights Elementary. Winner is Adair Worth. Adair is a third grade student in Ms. Kelsey's, Kelsey's class. Meadow View Elementary, first runner-up is Talia Burton. She is a fifth grade student of Ms. Russo and Ms. Spots class. And our winner is Dacra Taylor. Dacra is a third grade student in Ms. Snow and Ms. Spots class. <laughs> our 
Our next school is Lakewood Elementary. Second runner-up is Leo Turner. Leo's a fourth grade student in Sarah Isis class. First runner-up is Chesney Pike. Chesney is a fourth grade student in Ms. Pike's class. Our winner is Chloe Anderson. Chloe is a fourth grade student in Mrs. Isis' class. Our next school is Vine Grove Elementary. Second run up is Elizabeth Langley. Elizabeth is a third grade student in Mrs. Johnston's class. First runner up is Kylie Link. Kylie is a third grade student in Mrs. Johnston's class. And our winner is Gina Langley. Gina is a third grade student in Mrs. Johnston's class. North Harden Christian School. First runner up is Kinsley Bright. Kinsley is a fifth grade student in Mrs. Francis' class. Winner is Tipton Redmond. Tipton is a first grade student in Ms. Wilbur's class. <laughs> Cecilia Valley Elementary. Second runner up is Peyton Tibbet. Peyton is a third grade student in Mrs. Robichard's class. First runner up is Gillian Circle. Gillian is a third grade student in Ms. Wildrum's class. And our winner is Miley Newman. Miley's a fourth grade student in Mrs. Hill's class. <laughs> Heartland Elementary School. Second runner up is Claire Gravel. Claire is a fifth grade student in Ms. McCombs' class. First runner up is Bryson Dilmer. Bryson is a fifth grade student in Mrs. Combs' class. Winner is Ellie Carr. Ellie's a fifth grade student in Mrs. McCombs' class. <laughs> Rineville Elementary School. Second runner up is McKenna Clark. McKenna is a fifth grade student in Ms. Butler's class. First runner up is Chase Eisman. Chase is a fifth grade student in Ms. Butler's class. And our winner is Audrey Sturman. Audrey is a fifth grade student in Ms. Butler's class. Faith Homeschool. Third runner up is Brady Pike. Brady is a fifth grade student in Ms. Pike's class. Second runner up is Annie Pike. Annie is a fourth grade student in Ms. Pike's class. First runner up is Lanny Pike. Lanny is a first grade student in Ms. Pike's class. And the winner tonight is Emma Walker. Emma's a fifth grade student in Ms. Walker's class. The county winner in the art contest, the county grand champion is Carter Willett. Carter is a fourth grade in the fourth grade at Morningside Elementary. Ms. Willett is Carter's teacher. The award is sponsored by Hardin County Conservation and the Kentucky Farm Bureau. Larry Thomas with Farm Bureau will presenting be presenting Carter with a trophy and his $100 check. Now we're going to uh, present the SA Awards. Um, the SA Awards were sponsored by the Sicilian Bank, Magnolia Bank, Hardin County Farm Bureau, and Outdoor Power Source. And uh, someone from the Sicilian Bank can come up. Our first school is Zay's Academy. Winner is Isaiah Willett. Isaiah is in the 11th grade class of Mrs. Willett. Our next school is West Harden Middle School. Second runner up is Roxanne West. Roxanne is in the sixth grade class of Mrs. Milliner. First runner up is Kylie Wood. Kylie is in the sixth grade class of Miss Milliner. And the winner is Jalen Hughes. Jalen is in the sixth grade class of Mrs. Miller. <laughs> North Harden Christian School. Second runner up is Gavin Francis. Gavin is in the seventh grade class of Mrs. Ms. Clanton. First runner up is Cameron Grunch. Cameron is in the seventh grade class of Ms. Schneider. 
The winner is Jackson Estrada. Jackson is in the seventh grade class of Miss Clanton. Uh, Jackson has just recently moved and his awards will be mailed to him. Next up, we have J.T. Alton Middle School. Second runner-up is Samantha Nickel. Samantha is in the seventh grade class of Mrs. Patrick. First runner-up is Elena Duke. Elena is in the seventh grade class of Mrs. Patrick. The winner is Mackenzie Hulsey. Mackenzie is in the seventh grade class of Mrs. Patrick. Our next school is Faith Home School. Third runner-up is Schuyler Heckman. Schuyler is in the 10th grade class of Ms. Griffin. Second runner-up is Devin Carberry. Devin is in the 9th grade class of Ms. Carberry. First runner-up is Caden Murray. Caden is in the 11th grade class of Ms. Griffin. And the winner is Joseph Pike. Joseph is in the 10th grade class of Ms. Griffin. Next up, we have St. James School. Second runner-up is Katie Patton. Katie is in the eighth grade class of Ms. Wheatley. First runner-up is Grace Godfrey. Grace is in the eighth grade class of Ms. Wheatley. The winner is Campbell. We're going with Moomin. Campbell is in the eighth grade class of Ms. Wheatley. So the county winner in the essay contest, our grand champion, is Isaiah Willett. <laughs> Isaiah is in the 11th grade at Zay's Academy. Ms. Willett is Isaiah's teacher. This award is sponsored by the Hardin County Conservation District and Kentucky Farm Bureau. Larry Thomas with Farm Bureau will be presenting Isaiah with a trophy and $100. Let me say first, uh, I know as a parent and actually a gr grandparent now that these things don't happen without the teachers supporting those children. And a lot of times, I know that awards like this don't happen unless uh, you've got the teachers that are encouraging these kids to participate in these contests. So let's give our teachers a round of applause. <laughs> Now we'll pass out some money, and I know these kids love to have this. So, scholarship recipients this year, Patricia Keys. She's attending uh, Central Hardin High School and will be going to Western Kentucky University and majoring in agriculture education. Congratulations. Allie Blair, attending Western Kentucky University and majoring in large animal veterinarian. Bailey Bell, attending ECTC and majoring in becoming an ag teacher. And if, oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, majoring in agriculture loan officer. Claire Thomas, attending ECTC and majoring in becoming an ag teacher and FFA advisor. Macy Gent, attending Murray State University and majoring in agricultural lending. Logan Green, attending ECTC and majoring in agriculture production. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Taylor Hobbs, attending University of Kentucky and majoring in agriculture economics. And the Emory Lay Award, uh, Alan, you're back up. So this is for our Emory Lay Wildlife Stewardship Award. 
Red Ridge Farms is awarded with this year's Embry-Ray Wildlife Stewardship Award. Red Ridge Farms has a huge interest in wildlife and is developing a little getaway location for the family and friends to enjoy together. Through the planning of 18.7 acres of pollinator habitat and a follow-up of 31.8 acres of forest stand improvement, Ridge Ridge Farms has restored native habitat to help small game and pollinator species in both the grasslands and forest land, while also growing the timber for a future timber harvest. This has been a family commitment, and we would like to recognize them for their dedication and vision by awarding them the Embry-Lay Wildlife Stewardship Award. Uh, it's my honor to uh, present the Al Sturdivant Forest Stewardship Award. Uh, Hillary and Winona Ski's farm has been a family farm since the 1912s. They have been stewards of this land and for some time with Hillary being recognized as a master conservationist for his use of no-till in 1967 as an early innovator. That conservation spirit continues to carry forward to their kids who are not kids anymore and, they are, and to the newest generations of the family. This award is to focus on the forestry aspect of their family farm and to recognize the family for their commitment to conservation and conviction to installing long-term practices on their land. Last year, when most families were having Easter lunch and Easter egg hunts, the Skis family was walking around, walking across the hillside and had planned the first part of 6.6 .6 acres of trees that will extend the forest of their land. This is a practice that the current generation will nurture and grow, but will be fully enjoyed by those generations down the road. This is the beginning of a story for the family that can be passed on to future generations as they walk in the woods enjoying the fruits of their labor and dedication. In addition to the planting and extending of their forest land, they recently completed a timber stand improvement to eradicate invasive tree species and to remove damaged trees from their woodland to improve this area for the future as well. It is with great admiration that we award the Hillary and Winona Skis Wildlife Refuge with the Al Sturdivant Forest Stewardship Award. Congratulations to the Skis family. I can tell you when they they were in the dairy business. All of us other dairymen when I was growing up were trying to be as good as they were because they were, they were as good as you can get in this county. We appreciate all their efforts and all their work over the years. Uh, the Master Conservation Award is going to Jason and Samantha Stith. They have a family operation in the northern part of Hardin County. They have been working with the Conservation District and our partners in developing all aspects of their land. Through different programs, they have increased wildlife habitat with tree plantings, riparian buffers, and pollinator plantings. They have developed their woodlands with timber stands, improvements to remove invasive species, and develop the woods for wildlife habitat and future timber stand harvests. All these practices are used to manage a healthy forest on their land. For the cropland, they had converted to a full no-till system and use cover crops which help to develop their soils with rich organic material for sustainable future to encourage nutrient cycling. All of these cropland practices to include the pollinator plantings as well as the others not mentioned help to keep our water clean and filter out nutrients while holding the soil in place for future generations on the farm. This is a family operation that is all encompassing on all the different land uses on their farm. We repeatedly get stories during their office visits and phone calls of how the family works together, whether it's pulling weeds from the pollinator area or the family, including extended family, coming together when working in the forest areas to manage their woods. For a holistic approach to conservation by addressing the forests, water resources, the cropland on their property, it is our utmost pleasure to award to Samantha and Jason Stith the Master Conservation Award. Uh, 
Um, tonight's last award is for the Friend of Conservation. Um, tonight, I have the honor of presenting the Friend of Conservation Award to Girl Scout Troop number 495. Each year in April, the district gives away free tree seedlings, and beginning in 2018, the Girl Scout Troop have came and helped us bag the trees in preparation for our giveaway. They are truly a friend of conservation. At this time, I gladly present Girl Scout Troop number 495, the Friend of Conservation Award. At this time, I would like to thank my special helpers, helpers this year, my sister Barbara. Uh, she's responsible for the decorations on all the tables. Uh, and my sister Wilma, she's helped us with setting up and decorating. Uh, Cheryl Love, she came to the office and helped me one day with the program. And John Gooden was here early today and helped us set up tables and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. Like I said at the beginning, I'm glad that everybody got a chance to come out this year. We missed last year, um, so hopefully we don't have that happen again in our foreseeable future. Thank you again to all the teachers, the students, participants, all the uh, fellows in the county that are doing all the hard work on the ground. Thanks to all the employees. Thanks to supervisors, advisors. Thanks to the News Enterprise for coming out. Thank you. A real big thank you to Marsha for coordinating this. I know we thanked her before, but let's give her one more round of applause. Our next event will be the tree giveaway. Have we got a date set for that yet? April 2nd. April the 2nd, and we'll be at the Farmer's Market. So uh, come out and support that. I'm sure we'll uh, have a big crowd, and uh, you'll see it in the newspaper. That's all that I have. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Thank you again. Have a great night.